How's it going, everybody? My name is Release Radar, and it is finally time for me to unbox my Asus ROG Ally. I got this a day late because Best Buy messed up some stuff with my payment, but it's here and it's ready to unbox. I got this like five minutes ago, so let's just get straight into it. Before we get into the rest of the video, I want to let you guys know that I started a podcast with some friends called Joystick Junkies. Go ahead and check that out in the link in the description below. And then also subscribe to the channel, leave a like on this video, it really helps. Let's get into it. All right, I already broke the tape seals, so we should be able to just lift this up. And this is my first time seeing it in person. Get this little information guide here of what all the controls do. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna set that to the side, put this down, and here it is. Just gonna try to grab it from the corner here. It's wrapped in plastic. It's a little warm, but that's because it's shipped in the Texas sun in the back of a UPS truck. So that's just kind of what happens. Okay, so that might've been the weirdest peel I've ever done in my life. It did not come off properly. So I'm not gonna show that to you guys, but it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing powered on. It feels really nice in the hands. The buttons feel a little mushy. Um, joysticks feel great. They click in just fine. Triggers feel good, shoulders feel good, back paddle buttons feel good. So let's just go ahead and get this thing powered on. Really quickly, we also have in the box some extra stuff right here. This looks like it's just a little piece of uh, cardboard to divide the box up. We have in this pouch right here, uh, I would imagine this is probably documentation about the device. Yeah, so we have some documentation about the device. I'm gonna have to blur that out in post, but that's my documentation about my device. And then under this other compartment, we have the charger here. And so, yeah, I'm gonna keep this actually plugged in at this station real quick just to get some games installed. And I will see you guys when I get fully signed into Windows and get everything set up here on the Asus ROG Ally, which already has a little speck of dust on the screen. That's great. All right, I'm in my living room now. I know the process of getting everything installed on Windows is gonna take a long time. So I just wanted to chill on my couch while doing that. I'm actually watching Indiana Jones right now. There's my dog hanging out. But here is the first time boot up of the ROG Ally. Took about 30 seconds to boot up, give or take. But yeah, I'm excited about this. I'm gonna get a couple games installed. I'm also gonna take the micro SD card out of my Steam Deck, which is sitting right there, and put that in this thing instead, because I'm probably going to start using this a bit more than the deck, just because it's got a little bit more power to it. So don't worry though, I'm still gonna make Steam Deck benchmark videos for new games that I pick up, and I'm also gonna start making benchmark videos on the ROG Ally as well. So I will see you guys once everything's set up. All right, guys, so I finally have everything set up on my ROG Ally. It took a couple of minutes, a little bit longer than I would have liked. And also, this was in the box as well. It was hiding at the top. And it's like a little stand to prop up the Ally with, but it feels like it's made out of cardboard, so I'm probably not really ever going to use it. But it is there, and I have it plugged in here as well. But the device feels very premium. I will say that the buttons feel mushy a little bit, but everything else feels super nice. Um, I've had a little bit of accidental presses on the back buttons, and that's kind of annoying, but it just kind of is what it is. I just have to get used to the fact that these are a little bit more sensitive than the ones on the Steam Deck. But I've went ahead and installed a couple games. As you can see, I have Modern Warfare 2 slash Warzone, Diablo 4, and Assassin's Creed Origins installed. And they all run a lot better than they do on the deck, especially because Modern Warfare 2, unless you have Windows installed on your Steam Deck, just doesn't work. And I don't want to put Windows on my Steam Deck, especially now that I have this. I never will. But the touchscreen interface on Windows is decent. It definitely needs some work, but I know Xbox or Microsoft announced the fact that they are working on a more in-depth touchscreen or handheld mode for uh, Windows. So that'll be coming at some point in the future, and I'll definitely make a video about that when it arrives. But the overall user experience here on the ROG Ally is not bad. I really actually enjoy this thing. Now, holding it, it's not as comfortable as the Steam Deck. I do have fairly large hands, and um, it's a little small compared to the deck. It doesn't have as much grip to it, but you know, that just kind of is what it is. It feels better than the Switch, but not as good as the Steam Deck to hold. In terms of performance, it's pretty impressive. I've been able to play Assassin's Creed Origins on it fairly well at a stable 60 FPS around medium settings when the Steam Deck couldn't touch 60 at low settings. So the performance on this is definitely better than the Steam Deck, but that's no surprise to me. The interface with the Armory Crate, which I'm just going to go ahead and open up right here, is nice as well. Now it says I have Cyberpunk installed. I don't. I started to install it, same with Red Dead. So it's not 100% up to date. I started to install those two games, but then I stopped the install and uninstalled them, and they're still showing up here on Armory Crate, even though they're not installed on Steam. So that's a little weird. 
But overall, this thing feels super freaking nice to use. And I think I just got a Discord notification, which came through on the Ally. So I think I have it set to do not disturb. That should not have happened. I'm very confused. There's an update to the firmware tool. Okay, update. We're gonna let that update. I'm gonna blur my screen so you don't see the message that popped up. But overall, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this thing. So I'm gonna update the firmware real quick and then we're gonna go ahead and hop into a game. I think I'm gonna do Diablo 4 because I absolutely suck at aiming with a controller. So I don't wanna embarrass myself on Modern Warfare 2 quite yet. So I will be doing a big benchmark video on this. I'm leaving, I'm going out of town in a couple of days and I think I'm actually gonna bring this with me when I do go out of town. But I should be able to get one of my big benchmark videos done on this relatively soon. I'm gonna have a smaller benchmark video done first. I put a poll up and I think you guys wanted to see Red Dead Redemption 2. So I'm gonna do that benchmark first and then I'm gonna go out of town and then I'm gonna come back and then I have final exams for my summer classes and then I'm doing a potluck with my family. But then I will have a couple of days to finally get to the benchmark with this thing. So next week's gonna be a long week. But let's just go ahead and cut to when this is done updating and I'm gonna show you guys some gameplay of Diablo 4. All right, we finished updating. So here we have Diablo 4 loading up here on the ROG Ally. And I'm really liking this thing so far. It's been a lot of fun. After I, I'm done filming this video, I'm gonna go sit down on my couch and play more Diablo 4 because I'm also really enjoying this game. I've never played Diablo 1 or 2. I started playing with 3. I actually played through 3 for the first time last year. So I'm very new to this franchise, but I'm having fun with it. So, yeah, I'm really enjoying my time with the ROG Ally. This thing is kind of a little beast. Definitely outperforms the Steam Deck. There's absolutely no question there. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. We're getting a smooth 60 FPS as well out of this game. I'm playing on low settings, but you could probably bring the frame rate up a little bit more. Or, I'm sorry, not the frame rate. The graphic settings up a little bit more and still get a smooth 60. But I like to have a guaranteed smooth 60. And sorry about that bang. My upstairs neighbors are a little loud sometimes. It is what it is. But I'm really enjoying this thing so far. It's nice. It's a little bit more compact than the Steam Deck and its overall profile. Now, it doesn't have as much grip to it, which is kind of annoying. But I think this thing's going to do really well, especially if you're already looking at buying a Steam Deck. Like, if you have one already, I don't necessarily think it's worth throwing $700 at an ROG Ally, right? Unless you just have the money. But I think this thing is a good option for people who don't have a Steam Deck yet, and they were looking at the Steam Deck, the top model one specifically, and then, bam, there's this thing, which just outperforms the Steam Deck. Does it cost a little bit more? Yes, but you also get a little bit more performance. So that is something to consider. If you don't have a handheld gaming device and you are in the market for one, this could be a really good option for you, especially for me, because I'm going home, I'm going on a trip, and then I'm going home, and I'm going to take this with me on both my trip and my trip back home for a little bit, just so I can play some games. And I have a couple games installed on here already. I'm going to be testing out Red Dead 2, as I already talked about in a little bit. So I'm very excited about that. But overall, this thing is running super smoothly. I'm very much enjoying the ROG Ally so far. It's just nice to have a new piece of tech to tinker with. I'm excited about all the videos I'm going to make on this thing. But so far, sorry about the road noise. I'm very much enjoying this. Um, I'm going to try to figure out how to record the benchmark. I don't know if you guys would want to see it handheld like this or just full screen like I've been doing my Steam Deck benchmarks. Because if I do it handheld, I can't use a keyboard and mouse to aim. And if I aim with controller, I suck with first-person shooters. And I'm 100% honest with myself about that, right? I've been playing mouse and keyboard for 10 years. So I used to be good with controller back in the Xbox 360 days when I started to game. But at this point, I uh, can't do it anymore. So I have to think about how I'm going to record the benchmark videos. But let me know down below. Would you prefer to see the handheld in my hands while I test games? Or would you prefer to see it full screen so I can utilize a mouse and keyboard as well as my better sounding microphone? Because I've recorded this whole video with my phone. I've been using my phone's camera and microphone to record this, which is why audio doesn't sound as good. But video is pretty comparable. But audio definitely does not sound as good out of an iPhone compared to a Shure SM7B, right? So there is that. But I just need to figure out how I'm going to record these benchmark videos. And maybe I'll do a direct comparison playing some games on this and the Steam Deck. And just benchmarking them back to back and showing you guys the performance of both. Let me know if that's something you guys would be interested in seeing. But I have a bunch of videos, like, thought out that I want to do with this thing. Very excited about it. 
But right now I'm just having fun playing Diablo, to be completely honest. This game's really fun. Um, do you guys like Diablo 4? You know, as I mentioned earlier, I'm not big on the Diablo franchise. I've only played 3 and 4. But I'm enjoying my time with it, and I'm taking my time with it as well. And you can get Diablo 4 to run on the Steam Deck. You have to use a tool called Citrus, I believe is what it's called. But using that tool, you can't get the game to work. And so I played through the game a little bit first on the Steam Deck, and it definitely does run better on the Ally, but you can still play it on the deck if you wanted to. You just have to do a little bit of tinkering. But some people don't like to tinker, which, you know, I'm very aware of that. Some people just want to plug and play. But at the same time, if you just want to plug and play, you can use the deck and not even worry about games like Diablo. You can just play um, games that are on scene. I'm going to die here. Okay, hold on, maybe not. I think I can come back from this. That was close. I almost ran out of potions. Whew. All right, let's see what I got. Was this even worth the hassle? I got an axe for a class that I don't have equipped, so I can't even use it. Wow. <laughs> All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching this little first impression video on the ROG Ally. So far, I'm pretty happy with this thing, and I can't wait to spend more time with it. I can't wait to get all the videos I have planned out for you guys as well. There's going to be a lot of things coming with this, as well as the Steam Deck. I do want to be clear, I'm not abandoning Steam Deck content just because I got an Ally. I'm going to be doing both. So let me know what games you want to see benchmarked first. The first thing I am going to do, as you guys already voted on, is Red Dead Redemption 2. And then throw some games at me in the comments. I'm going to be doing a 25-game benchmark with this thing as my first big video with it. So if that's something you guys want to see, let me know what games you want to see tested. And with all of that out of the way, thank you guys so much for watching my unboxing and first impressions of the ROG Ally. I really like this thing. If you're looking at the top model Steam Deck, I might recommend looking at spending a little bit more and getting this instead. But with all that out of the way, again, thanks for watching. My name is Release Radar, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Whatever I make, peace.